Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to do a little update on the Delani Expresso and uh, our thoughts about owning this machine. So we've had it for about six months now, maybe a little bit over six months. Overall, it's been okay. There's only a couple issues that we've been having. So the water holder in the back has been doing fine. No leaking really. Um, we did notice that if you fill it up too high, it will leak out from somewhere. So you can't really go like above the fill line, where they say. The warming thing on the top has been doing good. It's been keeping our cups warm, I guess, whenever it's on. After each use of these, we wash them and then put them on here. And so that gives them time to dry. So it's kind of nice on top of that warm plate. Um, it has been asking for descaling, which I've done once already. Honestly, it's been working pretty good overall. So, and it's a great looking machine, as you can see. It looks pretty nice. Um, the, the main part that has not been nice is mostly how loud it is. It has like this, like a really zingy, rumbly sound when it makes and, and like things vibrate. Like this will vibrate on here, the, this plate, and things just vibrate. I mean, maybe that's normal, but that's a little bit annoying. Maybe because it's such a small machine, it's, uh, it doesn't have as much weight to it. But that's our only really complaint about its operation. The other main thing that has been happening once in a blue moon, don't know exactly what it is, but sometimes it will leak water, like literally leak water out of it. And we haven't really figured out why it's doing that, but it's random. Um, it's, uh, it's only happened maybe about five times for the six months, and it's literally draining. It's like some valve or something doesn't close all the way, or something, or release, or pressure release, or something, I don't know, but it's... It just runs water out of the bottom of it. So, and honestly, we wanted to return it, and we realized that it doesn't leak anymore after you use it again. So, we kind of just dealt with it instead of returning it. All right, guys. So, we're going to make a cup of espresso here. We live in Hawaii, so we use Hawaii beans, obviously. Just our coffee grinder. It actually does pretty good. Put some beans in it. Just push the button, and it should grind up. <laughs> And that's it. And now we got our coffee grind, as you can see. This actually, this tamper and scoop came with the machine. It's actually pretty reasonable overall. Coffee's in and kind of pressed. You don't have to press this one hard, apparently. So it goes in pretty easily like this. You do have to hold it every time you put it in because the machine is so light, it, it really moves easily. Our cup under here. And then we just hit the uh, the two, the double portion, whatever. And hopefully you can hear it. I don't know if you can, how much it zings. And sometimes it vibrates a lot more than others. It's kind of weird, but um, obviously these cups up here make some vibrations but right now it's not too loud actually just sometimes it just gets crazy it vibrates more than usual okay so the first double portion is over and then what we do is we usually go one more time because we don't like ours as strong And that's it for that. And my wife actually drinks it just like that, right out of the cup, straight black, nothing in it. Um, I do like to make the um, the milk, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. So before you can froth the milk, you do have to purge the system. So that's what this cup is for here. So all you gotta do is push the steam button here, wait just a, one second or so, and then turn this valve on this side. And they'll start purging. And you can see how much water comes out in the beginning. Then when it starts pumping and cleaning up like that, it's basically ready. So now you just turn it off. And then put your frothing cup in there. And start frothing. that's what that looks like. 
and then just pour it into the coffee. Yeah, and that actually tastes very good, and that's the way I will drink mine. So, so cleaning up is not too hard afterwards. Uh, normally, I'll clean this right away. I'll take this out and then rinse this under the water, and the, it'll just literally come right off. And then just wash the cups, rinse the cups, both of these. And then rinse that tip and put the cups back on top, and that's it. And it's done, so it doesn't take too long to make an espresso. All right, so I rinsed out everything and put everything back. And so this thing is going to sit for about, I don't know how long, 30 minutes or so, just warming those cups. Now, the, the interesting part is, is that not understand what's going on. But whenever you're done making your espresso, it blinks like this for quite a while. And so it won't let you make another one unless you push the power button over there and restart it again. Which is kind of annoying, to be honest. Because if me and my wife are making an espresso, we both have to like, we have to push the power button every time to uh, restart it. So that's one of the things that's been kind of annoying too. But other than that, I mean, it's been all right. Honestly, it takes so little space up, you know, and it makes really good espresso. I don't know if I'd recommend it or not since it's our first one. It seems okay overall, except for the leaking once in the blue moon. It seems kind of odd, but it still keeps on going. So it's been six months and we've been using it every day sometimes two to three times four times a day so it gets used a lot and when we had some guests over it was working overtime so so if you're looking for something compact this is definitely a good one i don't think you'd be disappointed and it's really pretty easy to use overall uh, definitely a reasonable price also is one of the things why we were going for this model we have very little space in our kitchen so this is was very important, but since we have become more addicted to this espresso stuff, we're willing to sacrifice more room for a bigger unit. So anyways, I guess it all depends what the uh, priorities are, but this is a great machine. So, and you don't have to spend an arm and a leg to have a good espresso. So hopefully uh, this video was helpful. So this is a six month update. So if you want to get a machine like this, I'll uh, leave a link in the description where you can get one. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, check out my other reviews on this channel. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button to see more. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.